All right, hey guys, today I'm gonna to be replacing my old LED lamp. This lasted me a couple years and it was kind of cool, but it had this cool floating top thing that was like magnetic or whatever, but now I can't even use it as a normal lamp because the LEDs are starting to burn out. So I wanted something a little bit more fancy and just something a little bit different to have over in the corner of my room by my computer. So I decided to go with an LED light bulb. Uh, you can see it right here. This is the Fly Whom LED light bulb kit. Um, it's rechargeable, it's remote controlled, and it's, you know, fairly lightweight and has a little hanger thing. So this should work out pretty well for our uses. We're going to be making a rechargeable remote controlled LED lamp. Um, and we're going to be using this, which is a little paper lantern to be the little diffuser or whatever. Now I'm a little sorry about the state of my room. As you can see, there's some cobwebs in the back and it hasn't dusted in a while, but it's, it's 2 a.m. right now. I don't really have time for that. And I'm just going to show you how to set this up. It's actually pretty straightforward. So yeah, you'll need one of these light bulbs. There's two different versions. I have the multicolored version uh, that has like an 18 hour battery life. It can do an amber color and white, but there is also one that's just normal white, but either way, both will work. So all right, the first thing we will need is to have our paper lantern thing already hung. It just makes it easier to put everything in. So the so first thing you wanna do is decide how you're gonna hang this thing. I have it just hanging from some fishing line and here's our paper lantern. This is a 12 inch. I'll have both these products linked below. So what we're gonna do, um, unfortunately the 10 inch version is a little bit too small for light bulbs, the opening's too small. So we're just gonna try to install the 12 inch um, paper lantern around the light bulb. So this may seem a little bit confusing, but I'll show you what I'm doing step by step. All right, so there's a little expander thing. Here's the paper lantern. As you can see, there's two little hooks here, and those go on these top little um, grooves here. You'll, you, it's hard to see, but there's two little like pointy parts at the top. That's where the little metal loops will go in. And the bottom part is used to expand. So the bottom metal rod has to go in the little circle thing here. You see the circle at the bottom? Just kind of place it in there. It's a little tricky, but once you try it once or twice, you get the hang of it. And so now we just kind of, about when it's halfway up, we're gonna put a light bulb in, otherwise it will be too, uh, too closed. So put a little light bulb in when you're about halfway up. Just kind of rest it on. There's a little hook at the bottom and there's a little hook at the top. I'm resting on the hook at the top. Um, and let's just pull it up. I'll show, I'll give you a better look on the inside when we're done. So anyway, we're just going to pull it up a little bit more. Okay. So now we got to get those little notches into the metal loops and sorry, I can't show it well, but here's what it kind of looks like. So now we've, we pulled up the lantern halfway, put the light bulb in, hung it from the top hook and closed it up the rest of the way. So this is what it will generally look like when you're done. Um, you can balance it by moving the light bulb to the left or the right on the rod, and we'll take a closer look in a second. But we have a sleep timer at the bottom, and you can also turn it amber and white. Um, it looks a little bit blown out, and looks a little flickery, but that's just because of the camera. Uh, the Samsung cameras are way too oversensitive, um, but it looks really nice in real life. As you see here, here's the sleep time buttons. You can set it for 15 minutes, for 30 minutes, for one hour, for four hours. Um, and when you push a sleep time button, it will flash twice, and then it will turn off after that time. So here's 30 minutes. Uh, now it'll turn off at 30 minutes. Um, if you want to get the full 18 hour battery life from the Amber model, uh, you have to uh, make sure it's on low brightness though. So just keep that in mind. But I think low brightness is good enough for like, you know, ambient lighting in a uh, extra room. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a closer look inside. Uh, okay, so if you ever need to recharge the battery, um, you can just either pull the light bulb up from the inside and that will give you, you can you know, run a cable through there from an external battery or whatever. But if you need to take it completely down, what you gotta do is you gotta lift up the outer ring of the uh, lantern and you can just pull it above the hooks. Once you pull it above both hooks, you should just be able to slide it down. And then once it's down, you can just take the entire thing off and the um, bulb will come out easily. Okay. okay, as you see here, I now have a command hook and I cleaned up the walls a little bit. so. Uh, Hopefully that makes it nicer for you. And here's what the inside looks like. As you can see, the two little hooks are in the two little rings. And I have my hook for the light bulb on the actual thing. As you can see here, it's pretty well balanced. So here's what it looks like with me having a little closer walls. As you can see, we're gonna back up a little bit and it still works just fine. Uh, sorry about my curtains. I need to get actual curtain rods, but that's not really relevant to this video. Uh, anyway, so you can see here, it, it looks more noticeably flickery when you're farther away, but that's just because we are using a phone camera. So anyway, let's take another closer look inside. As you can see here, I have it resting about halfway up. That helps me get a pretty good balance point. 
But if it's sliding for you, you can put tape on both sides where you have your um, light bulb hooked. But yeah, that should be it. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.